Uh, Pavel Sizov is a, an accountant who works usually with companies who start from the level of VAT and above. And he will share with you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Wunders, I do some simple stuff in Russian. <laughs> okay, today I wanted uh, to tell you about, tell a bit more about the, uh, some software that we're using in our practice. And uh, this software we implement obligatory to all of our clients. It uh, doesn't matter if they pay for it or not paying, but it's a kind of we push it. And I wanted to advertise it, uh, kind of, I'm not paid from this software, but I wanted to tell why. Uh, the modern um, kind of accountancy and taxation is going, uh, it's having transformation now, it's a big transformation to the digital world. And uh, it's uh, a lot of system appearing in uh, that uh, help people to save time and uh, the new term as artificial intelligence is also trying to, s to automate a lot of manual processes. And uh, we can't, uh, unfortunately, or hopefully, we, we, we can't avoid this because uh, this system, because they're automated, they, they are becoming cheap, cheaper, and cheaper, and they save a lot of time, and the most valuable is time. The, especially if it's related to taxation or to the lawyers or to the specialists, the time is expensive. So the, the, the more qualified specialist, the time is more expensive. So if, if that guy or even if the bookkeeper, if local bookkeeper spend it, uh, their time to process your invoices or receipts or put it all, all, all to the system, it's become more and more expensive and uh, time consuming. And then uh, also one important point, uh, the number of mistakes is growing. So uh, HMRC recently introduced the Making Tax Digital program and the main reason they argue why they done it, it uh, uh, they're reducing the level of mistakes. Because they started with VAT. I, I, th I think I told it about a couple of uh, meetups ago. They started with VAT and uh, what's happening when uh, accountant, bookkeeper or even you can fill the VAT return, if you reach this threshold, you just put nine figures into this return. And it's amazingly, VAT, uh, HMRC uh, uh, published some figures that uh, even if you put these uh, nine figures, the amount of mistakes is very big. So I don't remember now the percentage, but it's, it's not 1%, it's not 5%, it's much more. <laughs> and because it's a lot of money and this... Uh, so, so what the, what's they trying to do to automate this process? So they tell them, okay, now you can uh, submit VAT only through the software. And this reduce uh, amount of mistake, non-deliberate mistakes, practically to zero. So we can't avoid this process. And, uh, but uh, this process, I think, the process of uh, business automation is, uh, it, sh it should help us. And uh, the uh, main, main reasons I put here, they save time, they save, uh, it saves money, it gives you much less stress at the year end because the, what, what happening, it's, it's a usual situation, doesn't matter what level of the business, uh, that reporting doing at the end of the year. So when you have a deadline, reporting is doing. And it's not only because of accountants, it's, it's a, a lot of people have this psychology so they put in these not nice things to the very end. <laughs> I, I think, in, from, from, from my experience, uh, it's about more than 80% of people trying to push it to, <laughs> to the last point. Of po so, and uh, the, the problem is when you're doing the year end or the reporting on the first of 31st of January, that does <laughs> which, which date, uh, you, you can find that you have a lot of papers to, to do and uh, it's, it's, it's very difficult to, to find these papers, to find these receipts, to, to put it right and it's, 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 a, it's, it's a lot of stress. And, but if you're doing consistently this, uh, the, the software I'm talking about today, 
it will reduce this stress to the very minimum. So you, you, you it's, I, I think it's 50% of stress is going, going out. Um, and keep less papers. So what you can do with uh, receipts or invoices, you can take your, your, your telephone, I will show the process later, make a picture and throw out the receipt. The HMRC now accepts the um, digital, uh, digital receipts, the digital papers or phot photocopies or something. Um, s s some people are saying, okay, but we can just make a picture with the phone, why we need software? No, it's, it, it's, I, I explain why, <coughs> because it's, it's specifically done for this, uh, for this process. So, this is introduction, it's, I just put several pictures, but what do you need to use this software? So this software I'm talking today, Receipt Bank, uh, it's helping you to reduce the paperwork in your business and it doesn't matter if you're self-employed. So if you're self-employed, you still need to keep proof of your expenses. The other question, you still, I would advise to have an accountant or specialist who analyze it and tell you at the year end, are, they, are these expenses allowable or not? Or in which category should I put it? It's, it's another question and you, uh, unfortunately, you can't avoid it um, because to, to get this all information about taxation, I think it, in the future it will be also artificial intelligence is put it somehow, but at the moment I, I can't see how uh, I would say it's a process of setup or uh, giving you the information regarding your business, how to, how to organize all the stages of your business. Uh, so, receipt bank, what you need? You, you need a phone, telephone, uh, mobile phone. You download an application. Accountant or somebody who, who, who knows the software will set up to you, put the right accounts or, or something. If you are self-employed, it, it's much easier because for the self-employed, they have separate application and it's developed for the self-employed and it's automatically, you, you don't need even a setup of the charts of accounts or something very specific. It's automatically categorized there, all your receipts. So you make a picture and it's recognized that this is okay. This is a travel expenses, this is a rent, this is uh, something, electricity or something and uh, you already have semi-ready figures for the accountant or for yourself if you, you can do, if, if you're sure you can do self-assessment yourself. So you just look at these figures, okay, and, and put in them to the self-assessment. So you need a telephone. Uh, so uh, there, uh, about five years ago when all this, it started and Receipt Bank started to work, they also, they used three ways to to put the receipt into, receipts uh, into the system. So they use the, the pictures, the telephone, they use the, uh, if you receive invoice or receipt by email, you, sh you can forward it. Or before, well, what it was before, but now it's obsolete. Uh, you can put all receipts into envelope and send to the software uh, warehouse or their office. And what they're doing, they were scanning it and put into the system on behalf of you. Now it's, it's already not working because everybody have a mobile phone. Uh, you don't need to send anything, you just make a picture and forget about it. So you need a phone. So you have a receipt or invoices, you make a picture. They uh, all, all go into the uh, automated system on their cloud, all developing there. You throw the receipt and uh, from their accountant or yourself analyzing it and submit the Re reports. Thank you. Hopefully have an enjoyment life like this. <laughs> uh, you, you make pictures and send, uh, you don't need save in the receipt? No, you can throw it away. Some people are saving. If, me, for example, I'm always struggling because I have a habit of, I'm doing it for nearly 20 years and I still have <laughs> having a bad habit of filing all the stuff. So I have files for every client and I, they, they, with the dividers, with the years, so <laughs> it's, it's like OCD. But for small receipts, I'm already throwing out. Especially mine receipts, I'm, I'm throwing out them. So how it's working under the hood? So it, it's very easy for, for you to use and it's very, it's, it's very good working now because it's, uh, it, it's, it's improving every day. These guys, it's a competition on this market. There are several big companies compete 
Uh, these guys, I've tried about five different uh, softwares, and these guys are, uh, they have a, a UK-based uh, stuff, and they develop and specifically to the UK market, because some software used in, in the USA or in Australia, they, they're not very re reflect the requirements uh, that are here. Uh, and um, they they move in. I can see that they move in. They they de this they develop and they're in the process. They develop in their software. They develop in their artificial intelligence behind the software, because uh, it's 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 easy from the one side. But I explain you how it's working. So you set up application on your phone, on on your mobile phone. You make a picture, press the button send, and it's all going to their cloud. So the, to their storage. What's happening in that storage, it's they have the, uh, if you know the term OCR software, uh, automatic uh, uh, code recognition or symbol recognition, I think. Uh, and what it's doing, it's it's pulling up all information, so it's, uh, it's, it's divided. So imagine you have a black, uh, the white sheet with the dots, with a lot of dots, and the computer can't understand language, and th that, that is why they, the algorithm, how it recognizes the, the pictures, and it's, it's, it's trying to catch the patterns of the letters, of the numbers, then in trying to catch uh, uh, how, how they, how they um, placed uh, near what together. It, it, so what I'm trying to explain, it's quite complex to understand the algorithm, and it's, uh, it's, it's the, the coders spent a lot of time to develop it, and, and still uh, now it's d still developing. And uh, this software is pulling out all the figures and all the information. So, for example, when you attach the receipt, what you have in the report, in the so in, in the report, you have the supplier name, amount, tax amount, VAT. Uh, it it also put the category. Then you can code this. Uh, what type of expenses you want to do. If you're VAT registered, you, it's extract VAT. If not VAT registered, it's not extracting VAT. So it kind of doing a lot of manual job that bookkeeper is doing. Um, the good thing that this receipt is, uh, uh, it's if even if it's um, published, what, what I'll tell a bit later, you, you can always find this receipt in the receipt bank uh, archive. So it's it's not even stored. First of all, it's stored on your phone, but it's also if you lose a phone or something happening with with your phone, it's it's also online in in the archive. So you can you can pull always this this receipt or proof of expenses. Uh, and it's it's very important from the point of view of your responsibilities uh, before the taxman because they. Uh, the taxman can come to you and check your records up to, say, six years before now. And uh, ideally, you should have uh, all proof of expenses that you climbed for that year, for that six years. You shall, they, they, they will just ask, they, they ask your bank accounts for, for the six years and they can check, okay, can you show me what this, can you show me this receipt or this invoice or ask you for what this receipt was? And if you have, have a hundreds of receipts, it's uh, either you, uh, you, you, you should have OCD and, and keeping it uh, in the folders for, this <laughs> for the six, ten years, or you, you can do now the more clever way, more advanced way, just, just making the pictures. It also requires some organization, so you should... I, I already have habit and Helmut seen it. I'm always doing so, even if, uh, if I'm, if we, uh, it's not a, uh, yeah. we, we, we had the breakfast in McDonald's and I, I specifically asked for the receipt. It, 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 becomes, <laughs> a, it becomes a habit. Yes. It becomes a habit. And yesterday I didn't do one receipt and it still bugs me. It still bugs me. <laughs> so I have to go back and Absolutely. <laughs> and by the way, if you have, uh, I've just showed Helmut, if you have uh, several companies or several businesses, for example, you could be self-employed and have the, at the same time limited company or you're helping your friend with some with, with this business or something it have, you can s set up several accounts and if you have receipts for this, you can picture, change the company and have another picture. Wow. Oh, can you show it? Take off your, take off. Yeah. Uh, of course. Yeah. 
Have you got access for life in chamber? Uh -huh. I have that, you see. Uh, I don't want to show you on camera, but if you, just after the presentation, if you come to me, and oh, I will show no, you. I'm, I'm showing the screen, but I'm not showing that screen now. That's a lovely season online. Ah, OK. Just move a bit towards the middle line. It's you send one SD to gather any your company's expenses. So oh, I, th I throw an up all, all the receipts, but what what happening? We have. Um, oh, for example, here's yes, yes. this. Okay. So I have an icon, receipt bank. I click the item. Automatically, the camera is opening. So what what I'm doing? I'm making a. Can I hold it? No, no, it's fine. I'm making a picture. This is was not nice because I don't think it's captured the, the Wilka sign. But anyway, it's, it's amazing. Take it's take it's still... Just a second. If you've done a bad picture and you understand it, you can discard receipt and take, take, take it again. So, yeah. So I can see the whole picture and I just press one button. So it's going automatically to the system. Then you can see uh, it, it, uh, the processing time is very fast now. Before, I remember one, even one year ago, it was several days. Now it's about 30 minutes or even less. So now it's, I can see it's in processing, but b before it, for example, Google Play, I sent it by email for my storage. It's already there. It's already recognized. The category is IT software and consumables, supplier Google Play. Uh, amount 159, tax amount zero. So I paid by this card. And now I have the option to publish. What is publishing, if, if you or your accountant using the software for the accounting, for example, we're using zero, um, these, these guys are automatically connects to the zero. And when I publish, it's transferring all information to the accounting package, uh, including all these figures, the codes, and uh, from accounting package, it's already going to the right account. It could be done with several stages, but it's, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's one of the reasons we're using it to save, save time and save money to clients or uh, for these manual jobs that, 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 that are expensive. So, Receipt Bank extracts all numbers. You, accountant, uh, can review, sort, makes uh, tables, extract, connect to accounting package. Uh, and now that they, they introduce the fully automated process, um, you can set up rules. And uh, if, for example, you're using the same suppliers every time, you can, first of all, you are checking if it's, uh, um, if it's recognized the mm -hmm. correctly the all amounts, the supplier, and um, you can set up the rules so for this supplier, for Google Play, for example, set up this account and automatically publish to the um, accounting software. So what, what is happening, it's avoiding several stages of checks. Because this, these systems are created to uh, also to do several checks during the process. So accountant, or you can check if it's, uh, the category is right, if the tax extracted right. If you can see that that it's all right, you, you completely automate the process. Uh, so this is it. The, somebody asked the prices, and I wanted to show you the prices. So they, they have two products, uh, one for self-employed and one for companies. Um, they have own pricing. The pricing for, for self-employed is starting from they have different structures. We don't use the cheapest structures because they're trying to limit you with the number of receipts. The, I think the cheapest for the self-employed cost about 15 or 20 pounds per, per year, but they are not, they just, I don't remember, 50 or 100 receipts, so it's, it's limited. And they not extract VAT, and there are some limitations. We have the only business licenses, so you have unlimited receipts, unlimited users, and everything unlimited. 
and uh, for self-employed, for example, how we how we price it. If it's our client, we, we give it for free for the self-employed, for the Latvian Chamber of Commerce and uh, our company that provides software, we're doing 50% discount from their prices. And the, the cheapest package costs just 250 per month for the self-employed. For the companies, it's a bit more expensive and it again depends if it's if your company is VAT registered or not VAT registered. And again, the, the for, for the non-VAT company, it's about from three to 10 pounds and for VAT companies, we price it for 10 pounds, the receipt bank selling it for 20 pounds. So we, we have 50% discount from them and we, we just given this discount to you if you're buying from us or from Latvian Chamber. So this is this is how it costs. And to, to be honest, if you have a lot of receipts that this price is 10, 10 pounds per month, uh, it's, it's, it's not a lot considering how much time you're saving, how much mistakes you're avoiding, and especially if you consider that you need to find the receipt after several years' time. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it will be just uh, there and you can find it, you can return to it. If, if it's done mistakes, you can check what was the mistake. And uh, that's it, I think. So Thank you. Any questions? Yes. Uh, what to do, uh, employer and self-employer? I just now employed, but not close self-employed. Uh, and possible uh, pay tax employed, but my expenses uh, send uh, self-employed. Um, okay, so if you're employed, it's 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 more tax question than the related <laughs> software <laughs> question. If you are employed and you're doing something on the side, you're doing your some small business, or you're so if you're self-employed, uh, what you need to do, you need to register that you're self-employed with the uh, inland revenue with uh, HMRC. Uh, you should do it during the three months while you started it, ideally. Um, some people never registered. Some registered. No, it's, uh, it's a little bit different. And, uh, no, no, I understand you, your question. So you you register with uh, with HMRC, and what you need to do, you you st you need to complete still every year. You you will need to complete self assessment. In this self assessment, you put your employment details. So how much you earn on this employer. You you could have even several employ uh, employers, and you you should put your self assessment figures. So for your self assessment, you should do. Uh, also, you should put all your revenue. By the way, for, for, for those who, who are self-employed, I would recommend to have separate bank account for the self-employment. It's very important. Mo uh, some people not doing it because when you have HMRC checks, uh, they they asking for the bank statement and uh, it's much better to have the separate one because other way you, you'll, you'll need to explain in if any, every figure in your statement and explain why you spend this money or what is this it's mortgage better, or so it's, better. it's it's better you need to do it and it's it's better it uh, you you can even have a separate free account ideally it should be like business account and you should pay for it but it not 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 much matter you you can just open different bank account or in different bank or in the same banks just separate account and put your all your self employed income there oh. And all expenses, so have a several separate debit or credit card and put all your expenses from that card. So you have very clear picture what you're earning and what you're spending. And uh, with this application, you just so if you uh, you should have a habit if you spend with that card, immediately make a picture and you, and you're done. And ask your accountant to deal with it with, at the year end. Easy for everyone. Yeah, yeah, easy. Oh, did you say that every member gets, uh, full member gets half a year, six months free? Yes, yes. 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 So six months free and uh, then 50% discount, de depending uh, again because they so have. Who's free member? Who's free member from us? Uh, full member, yes. Yes, okay. So, yes. Yeah. 
and who's, 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 who, who has actually got all, uh, who's got the, all the, the codes? Okay. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> what does it be like? Uh, actually, it's possible. So I remember many years ago I've checked that a lot. There were there were a lot of software, and even zero about five years ago they had a special software for the for running their own fi finances. But then they closed it because it's not. Uh, uh, it cost maybe five pounds per month, but even there there, there were not enough customers for that software. And to run a successful software, you need huge base of customers. And uh, f so for, for, for the households, I uh, to, be nev uh, to be honest, I never researched this question for the last five years. So, but yes, you can, you can use. By the way, um, there's uh, some banks, I think, they have the, uh, some analytics tools in their bank accounts. So I don't remember which one. Credit cards, they particularly like these tools because they're earning money from this. So I think a lot of credit card suppliers, they have this. Uh, so they automatically kind of uh, put in your, giving you some statistics. Um, if you want, Ilga, I can put you kind of, I can give you this license uh, for free, uh, the, the, the smallest one, but... Uh, I don't know if you will use it because if if you are business, you need to use you need to have these receipts. We, we need to. We we, we, we we actually try to follow up our expenses. Okay. And for our family of six, the expenses are sky high. And finally, we want to understand what we are spending money on. This will be really How many bank accounts do you have? Bank accounts. Two bank accounts. Two bank accounts. But yes. Then we buy quite a lot in cash as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. No, because it, if it's in, in bank accounts, it's very simple. You just download a statement and uh, just fil make a filter uh, by the suppliers or by something, and uh, you, you have a picture. Even if you have two bank accounts, you, you download it. And now you, you see, when you buy, buy food, you see only one price for shop, yeah? Maybe 100 pounds. But then you need how many food or... Uh, so how many for dress or something for school when you need this, right? Mm -hmm. you, you see only one price for yeah. So that doesn't categorize expenses. Um, it have the possibility, but, but it's for the business license. It have the possibility to categorize in uh, to do multiple lines. So if your receipt or invoice, it's especially important for the businesses. If you have several lines in the invoice, you can categorize it and one line for one type so for, for example you buy something from amazon of some or even from asda for the business uh, and you have some expenses for for one category and another for another you can you can put uh, it's manually i don't think it's working automatically the lines but manually you can do it and it's it's a it's a good question and it's uh, it, it's a bit more complicated but some some businesses use it When's the deadline for going online for making tax digital? Is it um, is it a staged process for different size businesses? The deadline is um, 8th of August, but you need to reach the uh, you you cannot uh, you still can submit your VAT manually if your turnover is less than eighty five thousand. Even if you registered for the VAT, but your turnover if if, if it's less, you you can skip it. But so, so, so it's the first. What, what is the rule? Is it's the first VAT return from from April, the fully. So April, May, June, and you need to submit it before eight of August. Well, in regards to self assessment, you might show only self employed income or any employment as well. Uh, well, if if you if you are employed and self employed. In self-assessment, you put all figures because w what is the the point of self-assessment? You um, you declare all your income, and your income could be 
hugely different from different sources. You can have interest from from banks. You can interest for from investments. You can a lot of uh, you you can rent your house, your flat, and it's different categories. Yeah. And it's some some discounts. It's to to be honest, the self self assessment. It's it could be very complicated. It could be very easy. You can do it, feel it. But in some cases, it's very complicated, especially if you are. If you are not resident or in, you are resident in different countries, it, it's becoming a. Uh, in, it's, in some cases, it's becoming super specific, uh, and only s special consultancies can do it. So we, you should put your all your income from your employment from every employer. Why you need to do it? Because uh, when you're employed, you pay in tax, pays your own tax. And when you're self-employed, you don't pay anything if you are not in construction industry scheme. And uh, when you put all figures together, the tax might be so you you might underpay tax on self-employment, or you might overpay tax on employment. Uh, and uh, at the end of the day, self-assessment is to declare all your income and calculate all all tax correctly. So it's uh, uh, well, it's 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 simple calculations, but it's. Take, take in consideration all the streams of income. So, who wants to make it, make make life easier? <laughs> now, I, I would, if you're self-employed, I would you advise to just just to try it, especially for the self-employment. This. This application is very easy and it's working very good. Just, just for free, try if you can, you can do it, see how it's working, how it's. You, you will be amazed.